Hi everyone, welcome to the second video on keyword research from managemytimenow.com for step-by-step-internethelp.com Alright, let's talk about numbers. In the last video we talked about what keyword research is, how to do one, and why you need one. Now let's talk about some of the numbers that are very important in your keyword research because it all boils down to the numbers and how you use them. All right. When you entered a search term, for example, we entered weight loss routines and we got a whole bunch of results. What we are looking into now is finding out which one, which of the keywords is most important to us and which one makes more sense given how many, comp how many competing websites are there and how much time it will require because if it requires a lot of time and you think it's not going to give you the return on investment that you want, it's not worth it. Now when I talk about return on investment, I'm also talking about return on investment for your time, not just cash. So let's look at some of the keywords that may make sense for where we are at and how comfortable we are with keyword research. Alright, let's look at the first keyword on our list, which is quick weight loss for teens. There's about 17,000 websites competing for this one. And the first website that comes out is uh, Women Workout Routines. The second is a list of articles for quick weight loss. And so on. And then there is an article from Go Articles and a YouTube video. Alright, what I'm trying to say is for a lot of people this would be amazing and it all depends on how comfortable you are in doing keyword research in a competing market. Some people suggest that you should start with keyword research in markets that have that return less than a thousand results but I don't see any harm in competing in a high competition market which is more like how you would compete when you are actually doing keyword research, not just practicing it. So if you're comfortable with this, you could take on this keyword and see what kind of results you get because there's a lot of people searching for it, 276. That'd be pretty good. And also think about the fact that it's not just Google, there is MSN and there is Yahoo. And a lot of times they have slightly different um, ranking algorithms. So you might rank well in Yahoo or you might rank well in MSN and that could bring you some traffic, making it worth it your time to making it worth your time to spend on this keyword. Alright, let's go more general though, because I want to show a particular Alright, let's say you like quick weight loss. We just talked about quick weight loss and you were like, okay, quick weight loss sounds like a very good um, keyword to target. Now, when we p don't put the quotation marks, there's about four million websites competing. Four and a half million websites. Let's put the quotation marks. And that's about a million. Now, this is not a keyword that I would recommend because A, it is pretty targeted unlike other keywords, which just like weight loss. Weight loss isn't that targeted because the person could be looking for weight loss for teens, could be looking at natural weight loss products, could be looking at weight loss calculators, could be looking at so many things. So we do want to get somewhat targeted so we know exactly what our audience is looking for. Now quick weight loss uh, comes up with a million results and um, the first website is quickweightloss.net and uh, let's see, I just want to show you how many links they probably have. They have 245 links for that domain, and all right. Um, I wouldn't recommend this website. I wouldn't recommend this term because it has way too much competition. And even though it has a lot of searches, it's going to take a lot of time for you to rank high, even years. So. I would recommend starting small, starting with more targeted keywords that don't require so much time so you can see what kind of return you get. 
All right, so those are the two important numbers that we want to talk about, and I want to remind you to not ignore the numbers because you don't want to waste your time on keywords that don't bring you the results that you want. You want to be careful, and one of the ways to find out if a keyword is worth your time is to look at the number ratio between the number of times it's searched and the number of competing pages in Google with the quotation marks. All right. Happy keyword researching. If you have any questions, just uh, send it to Carol and I shall reply. Thank you.